Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello and welcome. My name is Mawahib. So as you guys can read by the title of today's video, I do want to compare both CB Advanced and CB135 waxes. Now I do have a bit of CB Advanced left, so I thought I'll just use up what I have to compare both waxes. I have spoken to a few of you and you do tell me that you prefer the CB135 over the CB Advanced. So today's video will just be a comparison between two of the waxes. Maybe this video can help you decide which wax would you like to buy over the other or you just want to know the differences or the comparisons between two of the waxes. Now when I actually looked at the details of both of the waxes CB135 and CB Advanced um, I don't see actually like I don't see a difference in how they lay out the information but we'll go through that a little bit later on. First make the candles with me and then we can talk about the comparison of information between the two waxes. Anyway you guys make sure that you click on that subscribe button down below and give this video a huge thumbs up if you like it and now let's head over to the kitchen so we can make some candles all right guys we are in the kitchen so i've got everything that i need prepped i have my water here my portable stove and my fragrance oils and so on and so forth and of course i have my eco soya cb135 and i also have my eco soya cb advanced i actually don't have that much left so i hope I have enough to make a few candles so I can do a good comparison for you guys. And I also have my jars all prepped on the side over there. I don't want to keep them in the sunshine just so um, my candles don't start sweating. But well, the first candle that I'm going to make is my 30 centiliter candle jar which is right here and I'm going to be using two TCR 1810 wicks and I'm going to be using London Luxury Supplies, watermelon slice and kiwi fragrance oil. So I'm gonna start off measuring 204 grams of wax for my 30 centiliter candle container. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. 204, there we go. So that's 204 done. I'm gonna go ahead and get started with my fragrance oil as well. So I'm gonna grab my watermelon, slice and kiwi. I am going to be measuring 16 grams of fragrance oil and that's 8% of fragrance oil. So that is 16 grams of fragrance oil ready. My wax has completely melted. I'm at around 78 degrees. And I'm just gonna wait for it to cool to about 60 degrees or 55 degrees and then add my fragrance oil in. But basically I'm just gonna put that to the side over here and just leave it to cool down on its own. I'm gonna move my stove to the side so it's not in the way. While I'm waiting for my wax to cool down, I'm gonna go ahead and measure my fragrance oil for the second candle, which is Egyptian linen. And this is the 20 centiliter candle container and I'm using TCR 2112 wick. For an 8% fragrance load, I'm looking at 11 grams of fragrance oil. All right, you guys, so I'm at 60 degrees right now and I'm gonna wait until it's 58 degrees and then pour my fragrance oil in. I have my timer right here ready so I can just press it as soon as I pour my fragrance oil. All the wicks that I have to test both of the waxes are Eco, TCR, Stabilo and um, I think that's about it unless if I've forgotten something but it should be just that. So I'm at 55 degrees right now. Take my thermometer off, pour my fragrance oil in and then give that a mix for two minutes. All right, you guys, so this is the candle all nice and poured. Okay, so let's talk about the characteristics of CB135. Now, I have tested the CB Advanced before, so if you haven't seen that video, I'll pop it in the description down below. The Eco Soy CB135 is a fully formulated single pour all natural soy container wax that requires no additives. It has a great scent throw and glass adhesion and pours with a smooth level surface. So they do recommend heating the wax up to 70 degrees Celsius and they do recommend pouring at 60 degrees Celsius and add your fragrance as close to pouring temperature as possible for best results, which we all know that. They do recommend that we start with stabilo wicks and it can also take up to 12% of fragrance load. Moving on to the CB Advanced, there are actually not much of a difference in terms of information so they do say that it's fully formulated single pour or natural container wax and it does also hold 12% fragrance load however they do give you different wicking options so in comparison to the 
um, CB135 they only recommended Stabilo but with the CB Advanced they actually recommend Stabilo, CL6 and TB Wix. That's about it guys and they also recommend heating the wax to 70 degrees and they also recommend that you pour at 60 degrees Celsius. So literally same exact information there's no difference whatsoever. That is the end of today's video. Tomorrow I'll come back to rate the cold throw, hot throw and burn test it with you guys for a few hours and hopefully I can try see some comparisons or differences between the two waxes. Hello everyone, so it's the next day now, it's actually Monday, so I was filming on Saturday the last time you guys saw me and I thought why not just leave the candles cure for another 24 hours instead of me kind of burning them the first 24 hours of them curing. So um, I actually did see a difference between curing them for 24 hours and 48 hours. The first 24 hours I was barely getting any cold throat but then when I woke up this morning and then smelled the candles it was just it can, it's like I'm smelling it to completely different candles. Um, the cold throw has definitely improved over time. If I wasn't actually filming this video, I would let them cure a little bit longer, about maybe a week, even 10 days, and then actually burn them. But for the sake of this video, I am going to burn them while they have been curing for 48 hours. I definitely do recommend that you cure them for longer. Anyway, let's just get straight into it. I'm going to show you the results. The first candle that I'm starting with is the CB135 wax and the 2TCR1810 wicks. And the fragrance oils watermelon slice and kiwi from london luxury supplies and the cold throw is oh the cold throw is really good you guys the cold throw i would say is good eight out of ten my next candle actually is cb advanced a watermelon slice and kiwi and that is oh i'm getting a much actually i'm getting a stronger cold throw than the um cb135 so i'm gonna say that this one is a nine out of ten rather than an eight out of ten and for this candle is CB135 Mango Fizz Fragrance Oil. Okay, this is, I would love this one to be slightly stronger. So I can, I can smell the hint of fragrance oil, but I'm gonna rate that cold throw a seven out of 10. I can smell it, but it's not, it's not as strong as I would like it to be. The London Luxury Supplies Fragrance Oil actually worked better with me when I was using their waxes. In this case, it's definitely a seven out of 10. And last but not least, this is CB135 Egyptian Linen Fragrance Oil from also London Luxury Supplies. And oh wow, this is a very good, very, very good cold throw. This is a good 10 out of 10 cold throw. Actually, out of all the fragrances that I've just smelled, I'm happy with it. Egyptian linen the most. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna show you two candles, one CB Advanced Wax and one CB135, so we can kind of compare the differences in terms of glass adhesion, smooth tops, if there's any crackling around the top, and things like that. Okay, so this is CB Advanced, and I'm gonna do Egyptian linen. So, okay, so this is the CB Advanced, you guys. This is an amazing top gorgeous gorgeous gloss adhesion and moving on cb135 this is egyptian linen and again amazing top amazing gloss adhesion it's like you almost can't tell the difference between what wax is which because they honestly both have good gloss adhesion they both have gorgeous smooth tops and i'm super super happy with it but however i am getting a stronger cold throw from the cb135 in comparison to the cb advanced and for the and for the other candles as well and these are cb135 I did get a bit of kind of wrinkles can you guys see that here and for this candle I got a slight a bit of cracking here around the wick I don't know if the camera's picking up but yeah these two are CB135 so honestly you guys so far I really don't see a difference whatsoever I do have some candles that smell stronger than the other but honestly I don't see much of a difference I know some of you maybe have a better cold throw with CB135 than CB Advanced or vice versa or maybe a better hot throw and vice versa but for now, I don't feel personally that there is a difference between two waxes. And also when we read the information about both waxes, there is no difference whatsoever. You, you can melt both waxes to up to 70 degrees Celsius. And you can also pull both waxes at 60 degrees Celsius. And in terms of cold throw, I don't see that there's a difference apart from the Egyptian linen smelling the best out of all of them. And that's the CB135. And for now, um, let's just test their hot throw. So I am going to be burning the watermelon sliced kiwi with CB advanced wax and then the CB135. I'm going to be burning the Egyptian linen and hopefully I do see a bit of a difference or one hot throw stronger than the other but so far I feel like there's no difference whatsoever however I would love to know your thoughts let me know in the comment section down below if you have tested both waxes if you feel one wax is better than the other or you feel like you're getting better hot throw from CB135 for example so do let me know in the comment section below if you are experiencing the 
same thing as me. I'm gonna go ahead and burn the candles and I'll see you guys back in about one hour and a half so we can go through the candle together and the wicks and so on and so forth. So see you in a bit. All right, you guys. So this is the first candle, which is CB135 Egyptian Linen. Hot throw, amazing. Hot throw is a 10 out of 10, you guys. And I have the window open as well and I can still smell how good the hot throw is, regardless if the window's open or not. I love, love, love the hot throw. Um, and this is just some extra information if you guys want to keep note of them I just thought I'd show you guys flames flickering because the window's open but the wick is doing really well as well it's been about one hour and I would say 15 minutes maybe getting a slight mushrooming but I can't tell properly just yet but um, I'm really loving how it's burning so far honestly super happy with it let me show you the next candle okay so this is the second candle here's the information for you guys now when i first walk into the bedroom again the windows open here as well i got a hot throw of a strong eight out of ten i would say strong actually seven out of ten to be completely honest and i got a really good hot throw i could smell the fragrance oil quite well however i would love my hot throw to be slightly stronger but you can definitely smell it in the room you can definitely smell that there's a fragrance burning in the bedroom so my wick it's actually not too bad as well. My flame is not too bad. I'm very happy with the TB10. Post burn results update. So this is the CB Advanced. Now the wick obviously is too small, but I didn't get any um, rough tops or anything like that. However, on the other hand, with the CB135, I did get a few dips here around the wick, but honestly, it's not really a big problem, but that's how it looks like up close. Glass adhesion is going strong for both waxes actually, amazing glass adhesion. Alright, well I rated the hot throw for you, so the CB135 is definitely giving a much stronger hot throw than the CB Advanced, however I'm not completely like upset about the hot throw that the CB Advanced has given off. Now I definitely do think the CB135 has more a potential of a stronger hot throw but that really depends on your personal preference as well because for me for example if I was to say you know my hot throw the hot throw that I'm getting is 9 out of 10 for someone else a 9 out of 10 hot throw may not be strong enough and maybe a 7 out of 10 hot throw may be too strong we all have different sensitivity to our noses some of us may find a 9 out of 10 um, hot throw way too much and some of us may find a 7 out of 10 hot throw just perfect but for me personally I love a 9 an 8 to 9 out of 10 hot throw and a 7 out of 10 hot throw is not completely bad but I think it only does good in kind of smaller spaces. An 8 or a 9 out of 10 hot throw I feel I'm more confident that the candle can fill up a bigger space rather than just a small space but again I may be wrong. Um, I definitely do want to test both of the candles downstairs because this downstairs area is much larger than up here because I am burning them in my parents bedroom and in my brother's bedroom. I don't feel like there's a huge difference in both of them so I feel like maybe the CB Advance, I would say I would need to up my fragrance load a little bit better for a better cold throw and a better hot throw, but I wouldn't say like I'm seeing a huge difference between the two. But that actually also goes back to you and your experiences between two waxes. I've actually got 5kg of CB135, so I am going to be doing a lot more testing with it, as well as the Kerasoy, and there's a new wax as well that I'm testing out currently. Um, I'm not going to share it just yet until I do kind of, I really want to do full on testing with that wax, and before I actually put out a video about him it's just launched and it's in the UK it's not I don't think it's in the US if I want to make that video I want to I want it to be as detailed and as informative as possible um, unless if someone else kind of came out with a video before me but when I do want to make a new video about the new wax I'm testing out I want to take my time with it I want it to be fully detailed and informative so I can help you guys out and give you a sense of how the wax is working with me but that's everything that I have to say in terms of the two waxes again if you do have a different opinion than mine or if you have different experiences than mine with both of the waxes do let me know in the comment section down below because I'm always looking out for different ways to learn from you guys I love to know your experiences I hope that you found this video informative and insightful and it helped you guys a little bit let me know if you have any questions in the comment section down below I'm always more than happy to help all right my love so that is it for this video thank you very much for watching and thank you so much always for your support please do make sure that you click on that subscribe button down below we are so close to 700 subscribers you guys 700 subscribers give this video a huge thumbs up comment down below on what videos you'd like to see from me and don't forget to turn your post notifications on so you guys can get notified every time i upload a video see you guys in my next video bye guys